feel so insignificant compared to others. We may think that we don't have a problem that Jesus knows about. But if he can see a sparrow when it falls out of a tree and hits the ground and he knows every hair on our head is numbered, he knows what you're going through tonight. And it doesn't matter how big or how small. Our God can do anything. Nothing is impossible with Him. Amen. Aren't you glad you serve the one true God, Jesus? There is no other God. There's just Him. And I'm thankful I know who He is. Amen. These kids last week requ uh, requested we do worship the King. Are you ready to worship Him, Cameron? Are y'all ready to worship Him? Y'all going to have to stand up and help me out. If you want to sing it, let's do it. Let's worship Jesus tonight. somebody's life. Amen? And I just want to share one more time in case, and I know there's new people here tonight. And it may get old to some, but I talk to people just about every day that's got a child or a grandchild or a loved one that that young person is living in a horrible situation. 
Sometimes I take it for granted that I have Christian parents and I have parents that'll pray for me. And a lot of us here do, but there's a lot of kids here tonight that don't know what it means to have a parent to pray for them. And my husband Bill over there, when I met him, he was 14 years old. He wasn't raised in church like I was. His mama was not a Christian. And his daddy just walked out, didn't want to be a daddy. And his mom would go from boyfriend to boyfriend and a lot of stepdaddies. And those daddies were abusive. They would hit him. They would talk down to him, call him trash. He couldn't do anything right. And they would come home drunk and one time, one came home with a shotgun and he was just waving it around. Said, I'm gonna kill everybody in the house. So they had to hide under the bed, trying to keep safe. So by the time Bill was 14 years old, he didn't have a Christian parent that he could talk to. And he was sent out of the house to be out of the way, so he got mixed up into drugs and alcohol and gangs, getting into trouble for stealing and fighting, and he got sent up to juvenile detention so many times that the judge said, if I see your face in front of me again, I'm going to put you away. And they meant put him away till he was a legal adult, till he was 18 years old. Because they couldn't do any more with Bill. But I'm thankful for the hand of mercy on somebody's life. God looked way ahead. And I told somebody this week, what you're going through right now, you don't understand. But God can look way ahead. And he already has it worked out. And he can fix the impossible. Amen? And he sees the strong man or woman of God you can be. So, his grandma continued to pray for him. And instead of that judge putting him away for a while, they let him go live with his grandparents. And they were Christians. And they started taking Bill to church and feeding him Jesus. And it happened for Bill on a Sunday night church service just like this. It wasn't a big church. It wasn't with all the lights and the smoke and the fog and the production. It was a little bitty country church. And the Holy Ghost himself came in that little building. And it was more than just a confession from your mouth. I know the Bible says confess your sins, believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. But you can't be saved unless the Holy Spirit draws you. And in that little country church, the Holy Ghost reached all the way to the back row. It went through all the generation gaps and it called, he called Bill's name and pulled Bill down to an old-fashioned altar and without rehab, without family counseling, it took one drop of the blood of Jesus to change the direction of a young man's life. And instead of a life of drugs and prison and hate, he hated those stepdaddies. God put love and forgiveness and a hope for a future. That's what God can do for you tonight, young people. He can fix it tonight and give you the power you need to go through whatever situation that you're facing tonight. It's the mercy of God. It's the mercy of God. Mercy is different from grace. Grace was given to us through Jesus when he died on that cross. But mercy is when get that grace and you don't deserve it. God says, I'm just going to have mercy on this situation and I'm going to fix it. That's the mercy of God tonight. Sing it, Bill. I stood in the courtroom The judge turned 
my way It looks like you're guilty Now what do you say? I spoke up, I said, Your Honor, I have no defense, but that's when mercy walked in, and mercy walked in, and pleaded my